Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. As you can see around the base, pretty much these people don't do anything. Like, these guys are not even... Like, I would scold them for having too much fun at 3.07 in the morning. They should probably be sleeping, but they're not even doing anything. He's like admiring the coffee machine from a distance, and it really just has me confused so I'm not exactly sure these people are the ones who are working the hardest the ones on the treadmill they literally they don't stop so I'm pretty impressed with them and I hope that they see some action let's uh let's go to France this is not the ideal circumstance in which I would like to visit this fine country but uh, we have to go here it's gonna be a very difficult mission which means a lot of enemies uh, but our other two options aren't as strong uh, Brazil, we'd get the assault, but the... I mean, I think we're doing okay from a recruit's perspective, actually. Uh, China, we get the engineers, which is nice, but I've built the workshop to kind of offset that. So I'm going to go to France, hopefully get the $200 or 200 credits, and put that towards an officer training school and some other things that I'm going to need. So let us continue. We're, we're definitely... <laughs> green is coming. Like... He's pretty much going to be in here for a while. I still, still do not have a squad site sniper. So that's unfortunate. This may be an opportunity for me to sit boom boom. Because we did get another heavy in. And although not as highly ranked, it still might be good to kind of spread the love a bit. So I think what I'm going to do is take Fenny Lar out here, and I'm going to do the same. Remove all weapons over from soldiers not selected. Yep, I like that. I'm going to do the same thing with taking the med kit to confer immunity to poison, and also save us in we're, if we're in a bit of a jam. So let's get in there. I really would like to get Tufson. Like she's got to be close to getting a. France is sending an urgent mission request. Operation Demon Hawk. Current. I just want to go on like Operation Butterfly for a while. Just, you know, multiple like small insects names and things like that. I think Central. I'd feel a little bit more comfortable. On approach on the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, big sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Okay. Watch your backs out there, people. So, wow, okay. I, this is an interesting location for a couple of reasons. First of all, we do have some cover here, but it's it can be deceiving because initially I want to just go this way, but I noticed that that's only going to uncover half of our entire area, and actually there's more space on this side, which means I probably should have my recruits working this way first. Because if we move too far this way and then we get flanked from behind, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. I'm on the move. And my goal here is to get my sniper up top. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how we can manage that. The mech, I'm not going to be as like reckless with the mech as I was last time. I would still like to keep him alive, but he is very big and tanky. I'm still looking for some confirmation, and I'll have to just kind of figure this out, but when he's behind full cover like this, he's still behind the cover from the sense that he's protected from over here. The only thing I don't know is, like, if an enemy can see him from here, is there just no penalty to that, to his percent to hit me because he's not attached to the cover? I'm not exactly sure of the science behind it, so. Oh, it's tempting to go up there. I, I just, I'm not going to do it yet. I feel, Commander. 
Imagine if we had a squad site sniper and we could get him up here. We've got vision of the whole map. All right. Oh, okay. Well, that changes things a bit. I still want to go up here, though. If it's... I had to hazard a guess, oh. based on its profile, I'd say the aliens developed this unit with the intention of tracking <laughs> and isolating single targets. It appears to have a sophisticated evasion system as well. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. Okay, so these are those new, the new seekers. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I don't know how, to, I don't know what to do against them. That's the problem. Uh, not leave anybody alone, I guess. I guess that would be the best plan of attack. So, I'm thinking I'll just try to move up, but... How are they going to isolate a single target? How does this work? This is going to be interesting. And I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. I'm not going to leave my sniper too much alone because, first of all, her range is brutal. Second of all, uh, I imagine that's an ideal target for those seeker things. So they go invisible. They're moving around right now. I imagine they're coming towards us. Okay, we have Meld over there, too. So we've got Meld on either side. Let's move up. Ooh. Oh. Oh, there's no way I'm getting there. Nope. That Meld's going down, so... I might as well focus on the other one. And I can't... Oh. Oh, that's telling. Does that mean there's a seeker here? Because I can't move there. Oh, really weird. If I go down here and a seeker does happen to be up here, then... I'm out of position to deal with it. On the move. Alien object in sight. Okay, that meld's a little bit more attainable. And we'll throw an overwatch here on Gussie, and after that, we'll move her in. Hello! Yeah, see, that works. Come on, Gussie. There it is. Boom. Promotion. Okay. Where's the other one now, though? See, that was kind of an unintended way to find the Seeker. If it's inhabiting a square that you want to move to... Oh man, that throws a kink into things. Like, he must be... The other one must be right here, then. Because I can't... Oh, no. Or is it just this guy takes up two tiles, maybe? No, he shouldn't. Oh, I'm not sure exactly. I'm on the move. Enemy troops. All right. More... Uh, is this all we're going to see? Okay, this could be trouble. And if they go invisible like that, if I were to shoot a rocket over here... Would that still take care of them? I imagine that it would. I kind of want to just dash down here. But I'm worried about... Setting off another group. We have lots of turns to get to that meld, so... I'm not super concerned about that. It looks like... I'm assuming there's one right here. And if that's the case, it's probably going to show up right in my face. 
very soon. Heading to that location. So I think what I'm going to do is just get down here, so I'm closer to everyone, and then just overwatch, overwatch. everything. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Then we can all move down together. <laughs> Or maybe it's blocked because of the ladder. I'm really not sure. Okay. okay. Let's put Gussie down here. We can move... We can move Reddit up to the van. It's very fitting for Reddit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I thought that was pretty clever. And we'll move Harris a little bit closer so we can potentially grab the canister. And then last but not least, let's just throw green down here. Everybody get ready. So they can stay cloaked for quite a while. Because that one's been cloaked for at least three turns now. Oh, I hear them. Whoa. Whoa! Oh my god, you both missed? What about you, green? Oh god. Okay. Strangled. Oh, that's... that's good. Why can't... why didn't green shoot? Is it because he was behind him? Are mechs weird like that? Max might be weird like that. Okay, well. This thing needs to die. What? Did that really just happen? What is going on? I'm gonna go grab this meld. And then I'm gonna shoot this thing. Can somebody hit it? Oh my god. Okay. What I should have done, I... Oh my god. So if they strangle you one turn, you're toast. Now I imagine they're gonna grab this one. Uh oh. Oh god. Fire, fire. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay, come on, Reddit. You can only do up to five. You could potentially get the crit though. And I can stabilize. This does up to oh jeez, come on. We'll reload there. Maybe we'll get the crit. Nope. And now I just, I kind of need to figure out a way to come back here, be in some semblance of cover. And still try to kill this seeker. That's not the best. There it is. But now we're only in half cover. Against three thin men, and there's still two more seekers out there. Oh my god. Okay, keep your head down. Jesus. This is not good for my blood pressure. Ooh. I have a bad feeling about this one. Yep. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Well, this is going just great. I'm just going to get into full cover here. Uh can be stabilized or revived. I should probably stabilize, even though I really need to reload my weapon.
At least we're not going to lose her. For now, anyway. I kind of just want to run far, far away. And heal. I could go into the full cover. Potentially, how much does his fire do? Oh. Oh, I can't get close enough to the Thin Men. I really, really want to. It's a tough call right now. Okay, I'm okay. gonna go into full cover. Heal up. And then with green... I... I know he doesn't use cover, but... I'm just trying to figure out the best way that I can... Get in there closer for next time. So I'm not going to fire on this turn. I could maybe just use collateral damage on this thing. Do up to two damage. No critical chance. But if this... I don't know how this works with vehicles. I guess we're about to find out. Whoa. Hey, that works. Okay. So that's my new vehicle destroyer. <laughs> oh. Wow. And now those Seekers are going to show up, I'm sure. Alright. Van on fire. That's not good. Okay. Reddit has to reload. Like, I guess I could use a rocket. I could... I could... Hit him with the rocket. And maybe I should do that just to give us a bit of breathing room here. It's only one guy, but... Boom! Boom. Yep. You're right. Commander, it would be preferable if we attempted to retrieve those canisters rather than destroying them. It would also be cool if she noticed whether or not you did retreat like whether or not you save the canister cuz it's quite obvious that we did moving out back online okay and let's bring green back green back and reload so oh the collateral damage uses all of your ammo worth it though that was so worth it i wasn't sure if it was going to blow the truck up but that is awesome that's really good to know. Meanwhile, our sniper just laying on the ground. Now I can finally reload Reddit. I kinda just wanna... Who am I healing here? Uh... Let's see here. We'll bleed out after a short time unless stabilized or revived by a medkit. But we can't revive yet, can we? I don't think we can. Yeah, see, it's not even letting me. Okay. That's weird. Uh, it seems strange, but I am going to use the medkit on myself. And then I'm going to quickly take a look at the grid and see if there's anything... Strange. It doesn't look too strange, but you never know. We still have Seekers out there. Okay, so let's let's get moving. I really have no direction now because I haven't heard there now. anything for a while. Hydra 
Mouth Shell, Commander. All the meld is taken care of, so that's... Oh, hello! He's going down. There's no way. Okay, well, there is a way, apparently. These things are damn near impossible to hit. I don't know if that's just, like, a built-in feature that they have. Oh, there we go. There we go. Good team. Oh, did another one? Yep. Oh, Jesus, they shoot too. Okay, tell you what. You, like, you wanted to use this, didn't you? Just go for it. Melt. What? It's mechanical. <laughs> of course it's mechanical. And no vision. What in the hell is happening? On my way. Wait, let's see what it decides to do. Uh, I don't know why I can't see it from there, but... Oh, yeah. Well, we know he's here. So, like, I'm not going to be going very far. And apparently they can stealth for a really long time. What I'm going to do next time is check the info panel. And just see if we can figure out... Uh, oh, hello. Now, come on. He's right there. There. I guess I'm not checking the info panel. Oh, that's not even all of them. All right. I am going to head down the road, I suppose. I'm on the move. And we'll just reload everybody. Poor sniper laying back there. Just out of it. Okay, well actually we're at the end of the road here. Literally. So we'll go up and check Heading there out now. the scenery. I don't think that they can cloak before we see them. Scanning. Or are there maybe there, maybe I miscounted one? No, okay, we have some direction. Here. All right. Green, I'll get you up here. And I don't really want to go any further, so keep everybody back. The good news out of all of this is that we're learning a lot about how these these seeker things work. And we are uh, and we got our sniper promoted, even though she's hurt, like, big time. On my way. It still it could be a lot worse than it is. I'm guessing they're in that building, then. Or on top of it. That's possible. That's affirmative. Or inside of it. <laughs> I don't know, it could be anywhere. I I almost I think it's probably inside. And if that's the case, what I'm gonna do, it looks like there's a door there. I have a whole breach pattern figured out here. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put our... Support over here. Just see if they're behind it instead of inside it. No. They gotta be inside. So I can open this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place... 
Oh, what do I want to do here? It's tough. I think I want to place green here. And then I want to put Reddit all the way back here on this door. And I want to breach this door to hopefully force them out this way and uh, into a giant overwatch, which will eventually turn into... <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, I think he's out. Oh, no, he does have the one more flame throw. So here we go. Let's see what they decide to do. Oh, God. Well, I'll tell you what I can do. I can blow everything up. We'll see if this works while they're stealthed. Just because they're stealth doesn't mean they're not there. Okay. Apparently it does mean that they're not there. Well, um... We're learning. And yeah, I, I realize now that yeah, we had the, the fire, but these things are immune anyways. Scanning. Whoa. These things are damn near impossible to hit. That's not good. So we essentially have one turn, it looks like, to get these things off. Is that correct? Let's take a look at this now. So, for an autopsy to learn more. Okay. Enemy defense, minus 20. Huh. Well, we can get pretty close. Moving. It doesn't look like you can flank these things, at least not when they are... ...on their face like this. Here we go. Taking a load off. Catching breath. What the hell? What does catching breath mean? I can... Oh, that's weird. So I could dash somewhere, very short distance, but I can't use any weapons. So that attack, that really hurts you. Jesus. Well, okay. Oh, I can still overwatch though. See, this is one of those rare circumstances where you do want to bunch up. I am going to... Heading there now. Heal the wound. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. And then... Wait for this thing to show up. It's kind of weird because... In a way, there's almost no reason for you to to move out. Like, I have to assume this is probably the last enemy that we're gonna find here. Okay. I feel, Commander. I almost shouldn't Overwatch Green here. Okay, so now we know where he is. I really should. Um, reload green so that we're in a... Oh god. For this reason. Because if we miss this... Okay, he didn't miss, so it doesn't matter. No way that just and he got a promotion. That's huge. Okay. So, we, okay, that was a big learning for me. We learned a lot about those Seekers and how they act. Um, very unconventional. And if they are stealthed, okay, even though we know where they are, doesn't matter. Rockets won't, help, won't hurt them. Uh, the other thing that we learned is that the the mech uh, power of like blowing up cover does a really good job against vehicles.
and people beside the vehicles. I bet you that our sniper is going to be out for like three weeks, which is like pff, nice knowing you. Oh, oh, 12 days. Oh, that's not even the worst one. What? That's so weird. I don't get how the how the wounds work sometimes, but it's all good. Uh, so Tenku got a promotion. This is big. So I think uh, this is this is always a tough one. Like eventually, I want to have two supports on the field, right? I think now that we got Max, I don't know how things are going to balance out, but suppression is really really helpful. Like, it is really helpful. But, as we just saw, being able to revive somebody would also be really, really helpful. I think we have a couple of supports, so for now, I'm going to take something that could help us not go into a mode where we need to be revived, and we could use it uh, more often. So, I'm going to take the suppression. Next, uh, Green got a promotion, so what is this now? Shots from Overwatch, oh my god. That is huge. Shots from Overwatch no longer suffer any aim penalty. God, that's good too. Uh, when in Overwatch. I'm trying to think of when I typically use Overwatch. So I use Overwatch when I don't know where an enemy is. If I know where they are, I'm typically hunkered down. But these guys, I guess they can't hunker down, so you would just overwatch, which keeps the enemies where they are. So if an enemy knows you're in overwatch, they won't move typically. Uh, and then we would get the plus 15 defense, which would take us up to plus 25 defense. And this one, shots from overwatch no longer suffer any aim penalties. So you're... Man, that is really a tough decision. I'm curious to know what you guys would think. Like, I, I'm... Maybe some of you will agree with me, some of you won't, but... I think that the way I use Overwatch, uh... I think having it just not have that aim penalty would be huge, so... I'm gonna take that. I mean, either way is really, really a good upgrade, I think. And last but not least, Gussie. Finally, we're getting the squad site. Um... Yeah... I think, was it always balanced with Snapshot, or is this different? No, I think it was. I think it was. So far, the trees have been the same. I I thought that they were going to be a bit different, but maybe I was mistaken. Uh, so we're going to grab Squad Sight now. And, and what, other, what else is interesting is Snipers now, maybe this is an impossible thing. Maybe it's, uh, uh, maybe it's an enemy within thing, but they don't gain as much HP as your other units do as they rank up. Look at that, everyone's hurt. And out of the ones that got hurt, Gusty was hurt the least. Ah, uh, that's so weird. Okay, we got another Calm and Cool medal. This is good. Got some Seeker Rex, Thin Men Corpses. We can build laboratories. Meh, I guess. Yeah, I got other things to worry about though. We will be in touch, Commander. Let's, uh, let's check out the gray market here. Seeker Rex are worth five credits. It's not really a whole lot else. I got 200 credits to spend. We got Brazil and Egypt, or Brazil and China losing their marbles. Which is fair, I guess. Experimenter Warfare coming in one day. Then we definitely need to go to uh, Xenobiology so that we can start researching things. And then after that, we'll probably go into beam weapons or maybe even go into... Well, no, I can't go to a nav computer because I need another... Flight computer. I need two of them, actually. So, after this, I wish you could kind of queue this up so you wouldn't have to come in here so often, but I guess it's a good way to keep things in check. Access lift in one day, and then we can build our officer training school here. So, let's get that done. Yes, Brazil. Thanks, China. Got it. Okay, experimental warfare. So, Foundry is available, Reaper Rounds available, Flashbang Grenade available, and Phoenix Cannon available. Okay. 
Experimental ballistics have led to the specialized conventional weapon load. It can cause substantial extra damage to affected targets, but the additional casing elements make it less accurate at long range. The rounds will not work with pistols, though. It cause substantial extra damage to affected targets. What? Okay, we got the foundry. That's pretty helpful down the road. Phoenix cannons, probably a pretty good thing to get right now. And flashbangs. Grenade-style weapon emits a disorienting flash of light with accompanying sounds. Any enemies that can see the blast will be disoriented, suffering severe penalties to aim and movement. Robotic and psionic enemies are immune. Ooh. See, that would be better than taking out a regular grenade now. Because regular grenades aren't killing anything. Ooh, okay. Well, we're going to go to Xenobiology now. Let's, uh, let's check out these flashbangs. I don't know how Reaper rounds work. Experimental ballistics have led to the specialized conventional weapon load. So it looks like you can use them in all of your regular weapons. Uh, is this something somebody has to carry, though? Cause substantial extra damage to affected targets. But the additional casing elements make it less accurate at long range. So maybe this is kind of like, okay, you're going to hit them with this Reaper round. And then everyone else will deal extra damage to that target that you hit. It's not bad. Less accurate at long range. So probably not something you'd want to use for like your sniper. Interesting, interesting. We're definitely going to grab a couple of these. And by a couple, I mean one for, for now. Uh, Reaper rounds, I'm going to have to think about. Satellites are getting cheap. Phoenix cannons are pretty cheap. What time of the month is it here? It's the 5th of April, so... Oh, and I still need to build... Oh, no, the power's coming in one day also. So once this is done, I need to excavate here. It's going to be really close to see if I can get another uplink up. Maybe what I should do is... Uh, you don't get the adjacency bonus. Maybe what I should do, though, is get the uplink going here so that I know it's going to be done. Because right now... Let's let's check this out. So we have uh, three slots available. And we have three... Uh, we have three satellites coming. Okay. I think it takes two weeks to build an uplink... And so we would have to get this, we'd have to get the order in by the, well, by the 15th. Mm, yeah, 15th or 16th, maybe 16th would put us at the 30th of the month, so preferably like the 15th. And then we'd also have to build more satellites, which take like 21 days, so we'd have to get that in like now. And so if we were going to do that, we would have to commit to that plan. But that would forego getting the officer training school right away. And it would cost me... Well, let's let's just get there, first of all. Okay. And let's get the, the power generator as well, just so that we can kind of visualize everything. Okay, so now... Let's take a look here. So power generator, we've got nine power to deal with. If I go into the workshop here, uh, that takes, I think it's two, oh no, I don't want the workshop. Oh, I can't even build an uplink. I don't have enough engineers. Well, that solves that question. Let's go officer training school. <laughs> and we need to start excavating. I think, I think that'll be it. I'm going to work this way. But man, things are, things are dicey. Like, this is not easy. Uh, Commander, the council is requesting your attention. What Secure does the council want? In now. Okay, well, this wouldn't be a bad idea. 
Council has been monitoring unusual reports about a hijack attempt on an unauthorized French military convoy. Although the alleged perpetrators were human, our intel indicates that aliens may also have been in the area. If true, this raises a number of questions about the cargo being moved. Is this exalt stuff? We'll need a squad to investigate. Central should have our report, rep our complete report momentarily. Okay, we're going to do this. This is going to get us some money. And money is good because it gives us breathing room. I really wish that it would reduce some panic. Uh, we have two places that we know are going to need satellites. Uh, and probably by the end of the month, it's going to dictate what we do with all of our satellites. How many engineers... Do I have in total? I have 15, but I need 20. So, huh? I almost wonder what would have happened if I built a workshop instead. I build a workshop, then I would get up to the right number of engineers to build an uplink. But then I, sell, I, I don't have the money for all of it. That's the problem. And I am going to get some money here, but... Like, I'm going to get some money from this mission, but I don't know how much it's going to be. Hmm. Well, it's going to be 150, but I, I don't know what the future holds, and I'm, I'm really just trying to predict the future. I've got three satellites this month. I think that's probably all I'm going to get up there. So I'm hoping that through abductions and other means, we can kind of sort that out a bit. Uh, I do, however... I do, however, want to... Yeah, you know what? I should probably get... Some Phoenix cannons, at least one. Maybe get another one, actually. And I don't know if I should be selling these. I don't really know what I should sell right now. Let's sell, like, kind of one of each thing here. That way we can get... That way we can get two of these Phoenix cannons. Which means that we can equip one ship in each of our continents here with Phoenix Cannons. That's the other thing, right, about launching all these satellites. If I do that, it's good because then I could start finding more um, UFOs and things like that. But it's bad because all the upkeep that goes along with a satellite, like all these ships and stuff... It could, it could hurt us in the long run if we build too fast. So I'm okay with where we're at right now. Uh, we'll take a little break, but when we come back, we'll head out on this council mission that sounds kind of like uh, alleged perpetrators were human. So I'm thinking this might be Exalt, which is awesome. I just, I'm just loving all this new stuff. This is amazing. Okay, thank you guys for the support, and we will see you next time. Bye.